This is the book of Psalms, chapter 37, and verse 39. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. I want to give all honor, glory, and infinite praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rechak Wadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect scattered abroad, pushing his truth and sincerity. Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rechak Wadash, Barak Dum. To you, Zaquanium, Waakim, Waakwafium, you know, you elders, you brothers, you sisters, the whole for elect out there laboring, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability, giving diligence, making your calling and election sure, and of course, keeping faith in Yahweh, Wa, Yahweh Shai, in these last days, in these perilous times that we're living in. This is Brother Peshai, Ba'an Yahshua Allah, and this will be a quick lesson through the Spirit of Papi Ha'ba Shem Shai, on how the Lord will save us from all our troubles. You know, Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh. In the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, you know, will save us, man, from all our troubles, man. You know, and all our troubles could be famine is coming. You know, the Lord will deliver us um, from famine, deliver us from death, you know, deliver us from, deliver us from destruction, FEMA camps, concentration camps, you know, deliver us from um, lawlessness and chaos. You know, once all hell break loose in the society, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will guide and protect his elect. You know, the men, women, and children that's preordained to get delivered in these last days will get protected. You know, divine intervention is coming in a major way. See, the Lord promised this, man. You know, promised salvation, you know, unto the elect. And Lord willing, we're part of the elect. So we got to do what? Give diligence to make our call and election short. We got to remain in the fear of the Lord, man. You know, walking in the spirit, not in the flesh. You know, so let's get the scripture again. And I pray it to be edifying, you know, a faith booster. To Akim Akwafim out there that believe in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Just be quick, none too long, right? Um, Psalms 37 and 39. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. See, the righteous. He is their strength in the time of trouble. Let's even want to get more on that, right? Let me click the whole thing through, right? And it says, oh yeah, this is beautiful, right? So let's see. Yeah, let's read it again. Psalms 37 and 39, right? And it reads, but the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. And the Lord, Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. You know, so we have to trust in who Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. And he will deliver us and save us, man. You see that? So um, let's get Psalm 34 verse 1. It says, um, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. You know, that's why brothers got to keep, you know, continue pushing his word, praying, you know, fast as much as we can. Go out there week in and week out to, to push his word. That's us praising the Lord continually in our mouth, man. You know, we're signing, crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. We're not giving the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, no rest until he established and makes Jerusalem a praise on the earth. You know, so we got to praise him continually in our mouth, man. Verse 2, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Our scripture say what the meek shall inherit the earth, the humble, the lowly. You see that? That's what the Lord is dealing with. Verse 3. Oh, magnify the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah with me, and let us exalt his name together. What's the name of the Heavenly Father? Yahweh. That's a true name, not Jehovah. You know, not, not Yahweh. Not just God. The word God means what? Power. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means he exists, who he is to be. Right? And the name of his beloved son, who wrote called Jesus, is Yahweh Shai. Means he's the savior, he's the deliverer. You know, so we have to exalt their name. You know, so it says, Oh, magnify the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai with me, and let us exalt his name together. I saw Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Now, the things that's coming on this earth, yeah, it could get our flesh a little nervous, but we have this calling Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, he will deliver us from our fears, man. Don't be afraid of the famine. You know, don't be afraid of um, the New World Order agenda, the depopulation plan. You know, the concentration camps, the FEMA camps, the death camps, the you know, lawlessness that's going to come around, the cannibalism that's going to be happening, the raping and ravishings, you know, the, the, the race wars and riots and class wars and gender wars. Don't be afraid of those things. The Lord said, what? I sought the Lord's week. I seek the Lord. And he heard me. He's going to hear us and deliver me from all my fears. He will deliver us from all our fears. Like he did with King David in the times past, man. You know, and all the righteous, um, our righteous forefathers and prophets. You know, Dan or Lions Den, Meshach, Shredek, and Bendigo, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, King David, you know, Samson. You know, I go all and on. You know, Peter, Acts 12 chapter. You see, it's countless accounts where the Lord, you know, delivered his elect, delivered his men. 
those and even as you know you sisters out there as well get the history of Susanna you know so on and so forth there's a lot of different accounts as well you know with our forefathers and foremothers that got delivered by Yahweh by Shema Shai you know because they trusted in him Right? So that's, we must do the same in these last days. So it says, I sought the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked on, they looked unto him and were not lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. You see that? So it says, they looked up unto him and were lightened. It's like I read that wrong. Right? So Psalms 34 and 5, it says, they looked unto him. So they looked unto Yahweh Bashim al Shai and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. Was it, we're not going to be ashamed, man. Verse 6, it says, the, This poor man cried, and the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. You see that? You know, and we're, and we're lowly on his side. You know, we're, the, we're that poor man. We're the needy. You know? And we're calling upon Yahweh Bashim al Shai. That's why the scripture says in Isaiah 61, chap, Isaiah 61 chapter, how um, preach good tidings to the meek. You know, comfort them that mourn. Roughly paraphrasing it. Matter of fact, let me get it right fast. I'm going to go back to Psalm 34. All right? I'm just rolling through the spirit. Right, so this is good tidings, man. Isaiah 61 and verse 1. The spirit of Yahweh Bashim al Shah powers upon me because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He have sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty, which is freedom, to the captives, and um and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. And we're bound these, you know, chains of everlasting chains of darkness, as well as this captivity that we in. You know, and the Lord, you know, promised, you know, freedom, you know, through his son Yahweh Shai. You see, he says to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our power to comfort all that mourn. You see, comfort all that mourn. And we're mourning right now. We're lowly. We're that poor. We're the needy. You know, we need Yahweh Bashim al Shai. You know, verse 3 to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And right now we're in that spirit of heaviness. But the Lord said, I'm give them a garment of praise. That they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. All this for the glorification of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right? So let's go back to Psalms 34. Right? So we're the ones that's held captive right now, man. You know? And the Lord will deliver us. Psalms 34 and verse uh, 6. This poor man cried, which is the elect. Right? And the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. So... All, all our troubles, man, and no matter what it is, the Lord will deliver us out of it, man. Verse 7, the angel of Yahweh by Shami Haushai and campeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. So the Lord got angels assigned to brothers, man, you know, and sisters and children, the elect. The Lord got angels assigned to the elect, you know, and they're going to deliver us out of all our troubles, man. So when all break loose in society, you have nothing to fear. Divine intervention is coming in a major way. You see, so it says the angel of the Lord that came around about them that fear him and delivereth them. And as a matter of fact, I mentioned earlier, Acts 12 chapter with Peter. You know, I'll get that account right fast. Um, then go back to that. Because the Lord, you know, uh, sent an angel to deliver Peter. And I also get, you know, Habakkuk, not Habakkuk, Salanki, uh The prophet Habakkuk was teleported by angels to so Daniel the Lion's Den and Bell and the Dragon. Right. And I also get Daniel, the um, so sixth chapter. You know, or the third with Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. Right? But let's get Acts, the 12th chapter, right fast. Get this quick count. You get straight to the point. So it says, verse 6, after verse 5, Acts 12 and 5. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison. So the apostle Peter was, you know, kept in prison. But prayer was made without ceasing of, of the church unto the Mosai for him. So he's, you know, the church is praying to Yahweh Shem Al for Peter, the apostle Peter. And when Herod had brought would have brought him forth the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door kept the prison and behold the angel of Yahweh Bashim al Shah came upon him and a light shone in the prison and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and his chains fell off from his hands right and it says and the angel said unto him gird thyself and bind on, bind on thy sandals and so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment about thee and he followed and follow me Right, so the Lord sent the angel to deliver Peter, right? And he went out and followed him and wished not that it was true, which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. So it's like, but thought he saw a vision. So the apostle Peter thought he was, you know, in a dream. He thought he was seeing a vision. He didn't know that was actually happening. When they passed, when they were, um, when they were past the first and the second ward, they came to the iron gate that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them as of his own accord. You know, spiritual powers right there. The angel show, um, showed, right? Showcased spiritual powers. Had um, the iron gate just opened up on his own, 
and they went out and passed on through one street and forthwith the angel departed from him then the angel went back to the spiritual realm right and when peter was come to himself he said now i know of a surety that the lord have sent his angel and have delivered me out of the hand of herod and from all the expectation of the people of the jews you see that so the lord sent the angel to deliver the apostle peter you know i get another quick account i'm not gonna get the whole chapter but this you know thing is good um bell and the dragon right let's get verse chalaki let's see uh 33 right so this one daniel was cast into the um line let's go 30 31 it says who cast him into the lion's den so they cast Daniel into the lion's den right where he was six days and in the den there were seven lions and they had given them every day two carcasses and two sheep which then were not given to them to the intent that they might devour daniel so they didn't feed them because they wanted them to kill daniel now there was a jewelry a prophet called habakkuk who made pottage and had broken bread in a bowl and was going to the field for the bringer to the reapers the needy right but the angel of the lord said unto, the, said unto habakkuk go carry the dinner that thou hast into babylon unto daniel who is in the lion's den and habakkuk said lord i never saw babylon neither do i know what the den is then the angel of the lord took him by the crown and bare him by the hair of his head and through the vehemency of his spirit set him in babylon over the den so teleported him there and habakkuk cried saying oh daniel daniel take the dinner which the heavenly father yahweh by shami haushai have sent thee and Daniel said, Thou hast remembered me, O Yahweh Basha Mihaushai. Neither hast thou forsaken them that seek thee and love thee. So the Lord not gonna forsake, um, gonna forsake us, man. Yahweh Basha Mihaushai will not forsake us, brothers. We have to remember these accounts. This actually happened, man. You know? So Daniel said, What? And Daniel said, Thou hast remembered me, O Yahweh Basha Mihaushai. Neither hast thou forsaken them that seek thee and love thee. So Daniel arose and did eat. And the angel of the Lord set Habakkuk in his own place again immediately, you know. And upon the seventh day, the king went to bewail Daniel. And when he came to the den, he looked in, and behold, Daniel was sitting. Then cried the Lord, Saka, then cried the king with a loud voice, saying, Great art, Lord, power of Daniel. Uh, and there is none else, and there is none other beside thee. You see, so verse 42 ended off. It says, And he drew him out and cast those that were in the cold and cast those that were the cause of his destruction into the den and they were devoured in a moment before his face so those that wanted daniel to go thrown into the lion's den they was cast to the den and they got devoured in an instant but not daniel because the lord sent the angel to shut the mouth of the lions that's in daniel um the sixth chapter you know which i'll get that right quick you know all this for the efficacious sakes for the hopeful elect your brothers out there that believe man right so they get daniel 6 in verse 21 then daniel then said daniel to the king O king live forever my power yahweh bashim al shah have sent his angel and have sh and have shut the mouth of the uh, socket and have shut the lion's mouths right slack it, that they have not hurt me for as much as before him in was found in me and also before the O king i have done no hurt you know so basically the lost and angel shut the mouth of the lions and as well as bringing him food you know through the prophet habakkuk you know teleported him there to bring daniel food the food that he was cooking for the needy you know he said bring that to daniel in the lion's den in babylon he was like, i don't even know what babylon is or the lion's den you know then he got teleported there and he brought daniel that food man so daniel ate good he was chilling so the lord is with his elect man let's go back to psalm 34 psalms 34 and verse 7 the angel of yahweh bashim al shah and camp around about them that fear him and delivereth them oh taste and see that the lord is good blesses the man that trusteth in him so bless our um, um, are the men, you know, bless all the elect that trust in Yahabashim al Shai. So we must trust in Yahabashim al Shai, Lord willing, we are part of the elect. Right? So, uh, verse 9, O fear Yahabashim al Shai, ye saints, the saints of the children of Israel. Song of 48, verse 14. It says, for, the, um, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do like and suffer, um, suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come ye children, hearken unto me, I will teach you to fear the Lord. What man is he that desireth life and love love many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. So, you know, so you know, uh if you wanna live, man, you know, you're gonna depart from evil, do good, seek peace, pursue it, keep your tongue from evil, you know. Basically, you know, uh doing things that please y'all about you know, in these last days, ultimately. 
you know, rehearsing the righteous acts, keep the commandments, have faith in his son, Yahweh Shai. You know, if, if it's a lot to be a prophet, go out there and do the work. You know, labor. You know, labor in that vineyard, man. Verse 15, it says, The eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is against them that do evil. So if you're doing evil, man, doing anything that's abominable in the sight of the Lord, his face is against you. You know, he's going to put you to death. It says, The face of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is against them that do, that do evil. To cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is nigh unto them that have a broken heart, and save such as be of a contrite spirit, being lowly, being meek, being humble. You see, many are the affliction of the righteous, but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai delivereth them, delivereth him out of them all. So, you know, the, the righteous have many afflictions, trials, tribulation, but the Lord delivers, man. He not going to give us too much um, more that we can bear. You see, the Lord is with us. You know, we have, we have to believe that as well. Right? So verse 20, he keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. So if you hate the righteous, you're going to be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. You know? So if you trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're not going to be left, you know, you're not going to be desolate. The Lord got you, man. As a matter of fact, let's uh, get this one right here. Ecclesiastes, the second chapter. And let's start at verse uh, 7. It says, verse, no, let's start at verse 6. It says, Believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way of right and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest ye fall. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering, and very pitiful, and, and forgiveth sins, and saveth in time of affliction. So the Lord God is man. You see that? Let's, let's jump down to verse uh, 17. It says, matter of fact, verse 15 They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well, uh, seek that which is well, pleasing unto him. They that love him shall be filled with the law. You see the law, keeping the Lord's commandments. Verse 17, they that fear the Lord will, will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight, saying, We will fall into the hands of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, and not into the hands of men. For as his majesty for as his majesty is, so is his mercy. So the Lord is merciful to his elect men. And he's gonna show forth that mercy. Let's get wisdom son third chapter. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 1. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the heavenly father, how Bashim Al Shai. And there shall no torment touch them. See, the Lord God is, you know, he's going to save us, man, from all our troubles. And the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. And their departure is taken from misery. And they're going from us to be out of destruction. But they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For the heavenly father, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, approved them and found them worthy for himself. As gold in the furnace, have he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. And in the time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. They shall judge among they shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people. And their Lord shall reign forever. Our Lord Yahweh Shai will reign forever. So we've been a little chastised, but we're gonna be greatly rewarded for this, man. You know, for doing this work. And our hope is for the immortality and the everlasting life, which our Lord Yahweh Shai promised us, man. You know? So it says, um, verse 9, They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, right? And such as be faithful in love shall bow with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, the chosen Israel, starting with the elect. And he have care for his elect, his chosen. You see? Then it goes on to say how the ungodly are going to be punished, you know, for their, own, um, for their own imaginations. You know, and all of that, right? So if you, if you forsake the Lord, he going to forsake you, man. You know, so the Heavenly Father got care for his elect. He's going to be with us in times of trouble, brothers. I pray this is, you know, a faith booster, edifying lesson, you know, to the hopeful elect. You Akin Wakwafim out there. I want to give call on Lime La Yahweh Ba Shami Ha Shai Ba Shemakak Wadash. Double honor said, Elders and Apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and Sai with taste and like scattered abroad. Pushing his truth and sincerity. Without him, say Shalom. Wa Ba 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 Shalom.